just across in the sandpit field, which is my spring beans this year, uh, the tick beans. Uh, so these were these were sown in April, um, and I had nothing. They, they had a pre-em, um, and then nothing until just Friday there. So they had a fungicide. Uh, sorry, they had a foliar feed instead of a fungicide. So just a foliar feed and some trace elements. So that's all they've had to date. Um, and the idea is that we leave these until the very last minute that I can get through with my tractor without causing too much damage. And uh, then they'll get a fungicide and some more uh, trace elements if they need it. And uh, and that's all they'll get until through till harvest. And there, I mean, there's quite a lot of notching on the, on the leaves. Um, it's difficult if I can actually show you the, what, some of them, but uh, yeah, oh, yeah, so, yeah, so you can see we've got this notching, notching on the leaves, but we decided, you know, you do an IPM and, and sort of decide if there's a tolerance for that, and we decided that, you know, the rate they're growing, that they're going to grow away from, from any uh, insects, and we'll try and leave the ladybirds to, to sort out these these other ones out so you know the beneficials are in there too so we've done that the last two years we haven't used any insecticide on the pulses and uh, it's worked really well it does spoil the look of them at this stage but they grow so quickly that it just seemed unnecessary to put it on and uh, there's so many ladybirds and butterflies and all kinds of things in this field that uh, that we decided not to do it but yeah this was variable rate sown also um, once again 200 well it was 210 kilos um and then up to 245 250 on the the headlands and a couple of really heavy bits in this field but it's predominantly light it's not called the sand pit for nothing um but it it with the direct drill you know it has uh, retained a lot of the moisture and as soon as these beans got going you know they've never really looked back and so as i say these are spring beans the most fantastic smell which obviously you're not going to get but uh, I do love walking in the beans all through the year. I constantly come down and like to walk in them. There's such a brilliant smell and just such a fast growing crop that, you know, it's very easy to be caught out with my little tractor on the sprayer. You look at them now and then you come in in two weeks time, you know, and they're, you can barely get through it with a tractor. It is quite amazing. So, so yeah, this is, uh, this is all going to plan so far. There's a little bit of residual um, straw there from last year just on the top, very little. You know, that was, uh, this isn't far from the headland, so this is was in the little short butts. So this had chopped straw on it. So that was that was wheat straw, a big crop of wheat last year, and uh, the straw was chopped, but yeah, it's looking great.